Welcome back everybody, Gator here. Now in the past I've gone over with you some lessons in improv to make you better in front of the camera. And also I've gone over, you know, what you have to do to become a YouTube star. Well today, I'd like to discuss with you, once you've become a star, once you've mastered the improv, how you're going to handle all the pressures of fame that come with that. Now lesson number one here, dealing with fame uh, and the pressures that come with it, I'd have to say, I'm sorry, what, what's your name, buddy? Timmy? What do, you, what do you want? My autograph? Okay, let me see that. All right, dear Timmy, go fuck yourself. All right, now get the fuck out of here. Lesson one, don't ever give your autograph to anybody. Uh, mostly because it's like feeding a stray cat or a dog. Once you do it once, they're just going to keep coming back and back and back and back and back. They don't get their buddies and their friends and everybody. Next thing you know, you're no longer a famous YouTube star like me. Now you're just a guy who signs autographs all the time. So don't waste your time with that nonsense and just move on. Tell them to go fuck themselves. It always works for me. Now lesson number two here is uh, how to handle all the people, the friends and the family members that come out of the woodwork and all of a sudden want to be there for you in your life now that you're this big YouTube sensation like myself. So, you know, you're going to hear a lot of things like, hey, we never hang out anymore. Hey, why don't you return my text? Or, hey, why don't you hang out with your kids? It's just a whole bunch of stupid shit. People are going to constantly be breathing down your neck. You just got to shut it out. Change your number. Ignore them. Burn down your house and restart your life somewhere else. These are all great ideas on how to get out from under all that pressure that they're putting on you just because you're this huge star now. Now, one big problem with stars like myself is we become agoraphobias. Now, an agoraphobia is someone who's afraid of going outside into the public. We're mostly afraid because we're, you know, we know we're going to get attacked. I can't go to a grocery store anymore without everybody looking at me like, dude, is that the gator? I think that's the gator. And they come running up, wanting autographs, wanting hugs and pictures and blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm just here to get some zucchinis. I'm trying to get some squashes and some cheeses. You know, I'm just a normal guy out trying to get some groceries. So what I do? I uh, trade in these uh, classy shades and I put on some big old like bug eye glasses like this and then I wear a hat on down over my eyes and then I wear a big old hoodie with a hood over top of it and I stick my hands in my pockets and I just walk around like this everywhere. You know it's great. People uh, they will actually try to get out of your way rather than come towards you. So it works out great so when you're out trying to get your zucchini, your squashes, your Cheez-Its you'll be fine. Now a lot of people are going to say, oh, you just let it go to your head, Gator. You just let all this go to your head. You're not that cool. You're not that famous. You're not that neat. Whatever. Fuck them people. They're just jealous bastards who couldn't get an invitation to the jelly school because it was already all filled up with all the other jealous bastards. You know, I remember when I got my very first Best Acting Award. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's right here. Uh, don't know if you guys have ever read The Crucible, but I got it for uh, starring in The Crucible as John Proctor. It was uh, my first dramatic role, and as you could tell, it's the Anthony Award Best Actor, and it's got my name down here, uh, my actual name, uh, the Gator name. And I remember when I won that, everybody was like, oh, you, what, you think you're so great? They just gave that to you because you're the retarded kid in class, blah, 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 blah. You know, people are always going to have excuses. People are always going to make up lies to try to drag you down. You just got to remember, who's the famous one here? Is it them? Or is it you? Or is it you? And you just tell them that. Just be like, oh, let me see let me see your hip-hop fucking phenomenal uh, fucking videos, man. Let me see your videos that are so great. Oh, you don't have any videos. Oh, well, damn. You know, another thing people will ask you is, hey, why are you doing all these videos? helping all these other people become famous. Won't that saturate the market? Won't that make it harder for you to get people, for you to get subscribers if you're just helping everybody? I go, hey buddy, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people who think they can become me, but there'll be no one that actually does. Uh, what I do is very special. I'm, you know, to be, be this entertaining and this charismatic on screen and to entertain the millions of people that are watching my videos, not everybody's gonna be able to do that. Now you guys will get close. You know how they say, shoot for the heavens. If you land among the stars, you still did a pretty good job or whatever they say. Well, that's what's going to happen to you guys. You're going to shoot to try to be as good as me, but you never will be. But, you know, you still might land among the stars. Maybe you'll be as famous as like, you know, a Colin Hanks. 
you know, not everybody can be the Tom Hanks. Well, I hope you learned something today. As a matter of fact, I know you did. And for that, like I always say, you're welcome. It's what I'm here for. The Gator abides. So, if you guys have any other questions about how to become famous, or how to handle the fame once you've gotten there, or you just need some more lessons in the improv category, or whatever else it may be, I'm here to teach. I am a teacher of the arts, and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So let me know. Other than that, as always, I've been Gator, and I've been great.